The Breakwater Project's main objective was to put a stop to coastal degradation, with plans for future development in the form of a marina and yachting centre at the north of the island to serve as a gateway to the Grenadines. However, the project has resulted in major coastal erosion in the lower Mount Craven area. To date, entire beaches have been removed and at the beginning of 2021, we saw waves threaten to displace an entire community. Marine biologist with a background in coastal zone management, Paul Phillip, spoke to GBN about the project. He said in-depth studies should have been done before the commencement of the project and the same needs to be done now to find a solution. You would, ha you would have to do what you failed to do in the beginning to determine what you have to do now, how to correct it. The studies that you didn't do in the beginning, you would have to do it now to, to, to determine how can we move that, change that, fix that to prevent the erosion. Mr. Phillips said a computer simulation is one route that could have been taken to determine the possible effects of the project. So you organize an area looking like it is with the same type of topography, you know, and you, you run the, the currents and you put up a, 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 a breakwater and decide how it goes around that breakwater, you know, and then from doing that you would, you would make a determination what angle, what depth, how high to put it, where to put it, so that it doesn't affect the beach. And I mean, we don't have the facilities here in Grenada to do it, but there are countries where it could be done. He said although the project was successful in its original objective of reducing wave energy in low town Cetez, it resulted in the creation of another problem. They diverted the current, so where the current used to pass along the beach, go down and up along the beach, you know, just up and down normally. They, they, they diverted it now so it goes around the barrier and comes back at the, at the, at the end of the barrier down there. So you, you, all the energy now that you prevented from coming at the top, it is going down on, on the bottom side now. And that is what is causing the erosion. Residents in the affected areas have said they feel as though they are not being made a priority. They are concerned that once the water begins to move inland, they will not only lose their homes, but also access roads, a community center and a playing field. They are hoping that something will be done sooner rather than later. Trelana Charles, GBN News.